We wanted to highlight the many accomplishments that we had in 2009. These are but just a few examples of the stories that occur every day at Hospital for Special Surgery. I hope they inspire you just as much as they inspire me. Dear Mr. Shapiro, I'm writing this letter to communicate to you my gratitude for running such a terrific institution. I was treated with such you... kindness and respect. When my hand was cold, the nurse gave me a hand warmer. It was most comforting. state-of-the-art care to patients, including much-needed privacy prior to the surgery. With world-class professionals at every position in every department. I hope you are proud of your exceptional team. Sincerely, Stefan Rosen. Getting a letter from a patient is the most rewarding thing you can ever get in an organization. Every day we are learning from the feedback from our patients and our teams. It enhances the quality of care. I wrote the letter because I wanted to make sure that everybody here uh, knows how thankful I am and how happy I am with the outcome that I've had. What sets HSS apart is our ability to provide multidisciplinary care. The surgeons play a role in that we provide quality care but I think it's overall the experience that probably makes the biggest difference is the team approach that exists. The way I think it exceeded my expectations was the level of professionalism that was evidenced by everybody I came in contact with here, from the nurses and the nurse techs to the radiologists, the folks who brought the food to me, the physical therapists, the folks who clean the room. It's obvious they're part of a team and they care a great deal about what they're doing. Part of the mission of the hospital is to provide the highest quality care. And I always emphasize to them that this is what they will expect when they come in. The condition I had caused me to be pretty uncomfortable at night. It's very hard to rest. I can't tell you how many times I hit the call button to ask somebody to help adjust me. And the nurses and nurse techs, no matter the hour of the day or how many times I needed help, they were there. The way he appreciated the care we gave him, it was a wonderful experience. I actually just came from visiting Dr. Farmer and I'm pretty close to being able to resume normal sporting activities. It is so satisfying to see a patient like Stefan to go home and yet he was discharged with an improved condition. This is clearly a team. Everybody does their job with a level of excellence and professionalism. It was always how can I help you and what can I do. Every step of the way, every single person I interacted with. It's a privilege to work here. I've been here almost seven years in May, and I think it's because I continue to learn and grow through our patient care, through research. The people I work with around me are always achieving goals and making me push myself to the next limit. I think our biggest strength is the people. Um, employee engagement continues to grow, and people just really enjoy working here. Survey participation has increased from 69 to 79%. I think this is due to just the surveys being easier and more convenient to fill out, and HSS has been putting together as a whole some ground initiatives to increase the participation. One of the keys to the hospital being successful is how well people work together here. I could use the example of the PAC system, the implementation of the PAC system in the operating rooms was a great example of teamwork. PAX is the Picture Archiving and Communication System. This was an interesting project because it had radiology, nursing, physicians, as well as engineering all involved. Obviously we needed it to be a, a seamless transition from using films to using a computerized system. In the beginning, a big step was with IT. We were basically putting together a roadmap for the PAC system. The staff was up here for the first two weeks. They were available to the surgeons and the staff who had any questions. Whether it was the nurses and the physicians, whether it was engineering or radiology, all of the departments understood that the end product was going to support patient care here at HSS, and they also knew that this new technology was going to push us into the future. Quality at HSS is extremely important. We strive to set the benchmarks rather than just follow them. 2009 has been a spectacular year for quality at Hospital for Special Surgery. We've had a number of initiatives implemented, for example, executive leadership walk rounds or a new electronic occurrence reporting system. Others, and I think probably more importantly, are the ones that come from our staff. The night shift huddle came about because we recognize that there's a need for better communication and better patient care, especially at nights. This was a great way to communicate between the different services and really identify those patients who might need a little bit of extra attention during the night when there aren't as many people around. 
The huddle is headed up by the hospitals. It's also the nursing supervising staff, one of the residents or the PAs. We give a brief synopsis of the patient's concerns, the patient needs in each unit. Both the orthopedic PAs as well as the evening hospitalist weigh in in terms of the management of these patients. It allows us to adjust and make some modification. It's not just one unit that we work on, we work as a team here at HSS. I think it's really worked to improve patient outcomes. That's what quality is all about, recognizing those gaps and taking action to address those gaps in a meaningful way. Growth and a healthy bottom line are extremely important at HSS so that we can assure that we will be able to meet all of our strategic initiatives out into the future. Many positive changes have been made. As you can see, our lobby is a lot larger than it used to be. It's a much more inviting, welcoming environment for the people coming in. The appearance is very much in keeping with the image and the quality and the service that this hospital has to offer. The staff also has new uniforms, gives a much nicer first impression. In addition, we did a uh, major renovation on our pre-surgical screening area. We added the 8th MRI, a 9th OR on the ambulatory surgery unit, and construction is underway currently on the Hip Preservation Center. The major project that we started was the major project expansion. We raised steel, we poured concrete. That project will allow us to add two floors of patient beds. It will allow us to put peds, rehab, and the pharmacy expand that dramatically on the ninth floor and will be finished by the middle of 2011. The pharmacy has grown a lot in the last several years. In 2004, we were doing approximately 30,000 orders and now we're doing 60,000 orders per month. This new space will allow them to meet our current codes and provide much better service to our inpatient population. Pediatric rehab will benefit from this expansion by allowing us to see a greater variety of patients. The family will be able to interact with the therapists right on the mat. We'll be able to separate out the younger children from the older children. This new space is going to allow kids to have the beautiful space that they need to recover. It gives you a lot of pride to work for some place that's improving all the time and a feeling that you're part of that team. The common theme is the extraordinary people who come to work at HSS every day with a level of skill, commitment, and passion that is second to none. Nitsali Rodriguez. Neil Clark. Maribel Rivera. Judith Johnston Grogan. Ricardo Corazzi. Sonia Davis. Robin Weisel. Danielle Citrolo. Kenny Buescher. Sarah Fignesardo. John Frank Ellis. Anna Hirilena. Edward Leslie. Catherine Hansen. Alexis Perez. Francis Baratasiska. Jack Roser. Jim Farmer. Kelly Davis. Krishnan Sadargan. Roger De Reyes. Tom O'Mara. Megan Featherston. Lisa Outs. Clarence Gilliard. Steve Maggot, Hospital for Special Surgery. 